Hey boys and girls, my name is Mike Kelly here at animatorsforum.com and one of our new members, Mark, has asked to show how I actually set up and rig my characters. I thought this is a good time to revisit a couple of things. So this is this is a revisitation of, um, of some of my workflow. I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because it's very early this morning. <clears throat> I'm still not quite awake yet, but... Um, I may post some more videos on it. Anyway, this is a typical character of mine set up prior to actual rigging it. And I want to show you how simple it is. So what I have is, let me, let me get rid of some of these layers. We'll start from the scratch here. So first I have, uh, if you'll notice over here, I have what's called a D arm. That's downstage arm. My characters always face uh, three quarters, uh, similar family style or American Dad. So that means they're always looking uh, slightly to the audience off to one side or the other. Not on profile, not full profile, and not full head-on, but uh, three-quarters. So I have an upstage and a downstage arm and leg. So there's, there's one arm and leg that's closer to the camera and one arm or a leg that's further away. If they flip, then that, that arm and leg flips. Um, I'll show you how that works a little later. But in any case, so I have a downstage arm. So you can see there's not much to this arm. I don't draw any hands at all. Okay, no hands. No hands. Look, Ma, no hands. Uh, the other thing you might notice is I put the pivot point right here. That's where the arm is actually going to pivot. So I go over here to the uh, to local uh, you know, vector point and set that origin point right there. Uh, next we have the torso. And this is the whole thing. This is a female character, obviously. It's a female torso. One thing I wanted you to notice about this, though, is notice how thick this line for the cleavage is doesn't match up with this line and these lines. Uh, so uh, nothing up my sleeve, but later on, I'm going to show you how that changes. Uh, then I have a downstage leg. So, and you'll notice the leg is all there, even though it's covered by the skirt. That's the, that's because sometimes I may want to, <laughs> I don't want to get too uh, not suitable for work, but sometimes I might want to remove the skirt. If I go to the torso, for example, if you notice, I've actually got uh, panties on underneath here. So if I remove the skirt, she's kind of dressed in uh, different clothes. Also, you might notice something here too, is notice how thick the leg line is. It doesn't match up with this. That's because when I drew it, I didn't really care whether it matched up um, because, well, you'll see in a second. So it's not matched up. And notice there's no feet on that either. So no hands, no feet. Look, Ma. And then I have an upstage arm. So what I did when I was creating this character is I drew the downstage arm. I just copied it and moved it over to the upstage. Sometime I'll, I'll show you how that quickly that works. Uh, but of course I have, I have an automatic script that generates these parts too, so I don't have to worry about that. And then the same thing for the upstage leg. Upsta I had the downstage leg, I just copied it and moved it over for the upstage leg. So if, you, if I take the torso out, for example, you can see that I have the two legs. These are essentially copies. I would just copy this. Uh, and then in vectors, I resize them. If you're gonna do that, don't resize the layer itself, resize the actual vectors. In other words, if you go into the leg here, you notice the leg is all selected there. If I'm gonna go there, I wanna go here to the vector shape and, and resize it and not to the layer. You might say, why don't I just wanna resize it? You wanna leave all your layer scales at the same scale here uh, in general because not doing so will cause you issues later on unless you know what you're doing. Uh, if you know what you're doing, you're probably not even watching this. So, uh, and notice I've set the pivot point right here where I want the leg to pivot again. So, um, that's really about the only notable things about my rig. So, my rigs are pretty simple. I can actually draw a character even if I didn't have, you know, all the stuff. I can draw the arms and the torso uh, probably in 10 minutes. Doesn't, doesn't take that long to create that part of it. Uh, obviously, the head's more complicated and I have an automatic routine. Some of you might have seen my... Uh, no Limits Designer, my face creator, which automatically creates faces, and that's available for free. You can have that create a face for you. My face rig is a little complicated, so I'm going to go through that real quickly. Um, uh, I've got hair and a nose on the mouth, but I've got a basic face. So you have the basic face, uh, and of which then I, I leave the... Um, if I go down here, I'll show you that. So I have the basic face, and then which I've, I've overlaid the... Um, the nose and um, get, ah the mouth over here. Okay, basic face, and then I've overlaid the hair on top of that, and then I've got a nose, and then I've got my mouth. My mouth is a switch layer, and once again, that you can find videos that explain how my mouth is set up. And indeed, I've also provided that mouth script that basically allows you to 
uh, adjust the smiling and frowning via bones automatically, and it has all the different mouth positions in it. So, uh, so that's available for you as well. And my eyes, my eyes are reference layers now, and I've, I've think I've explained that in another video. I don't want to go through that now because it's a little complicated. So uh, just be aware that they're they're reference. I have a whole video that explains how that works, uh, and that's posted out there. So. That's my basic character. Then somebody said, then Mark said, and I said to him, I said, you're not going to like to see this, but I'm going to show you how it's rigged. And here's how it's rigged. I go into my script called Auto Rig. I've showed people this before, but I'm going to show it to you again. I'm going to change the width here um, to 0.5. I think that's about right. And I'm going to hit the button to say Construct Rig. It makes the test. It, it chooses the name based on the name of this uh, file. The name of the file is called Amy Test, but I could alter it here if I wanted to. And that's the name of the character. And what Auto Rig does is, and I've shown this off before, it will go through and automatically rig up this character. But I thought in retrospect, perhaps the thing to do is to uh, talk to people about how, it's, how the Auto Rig, what rig it's made of. Uh, because, and I'll talk about this more in the forum, the auto rig script's not available only because you guys wouldn't be using the same the same setup for characters as I would. We've talked about this many times. I'd be glad to provide it, except it's just it's not going to work for people unless you, you work the same exact setup that I had. So, uh, but in any case, it's all rigged up now automatically. And then if I go to my Swiss Army bones, you can see that it will work with uh, by adjusting that legs. And I, and I even have a. Um, an automatic adjustment for the uh, notice to put bones in for the skirt too so it raises up there and this this is all rigged up properly and for the most part should work now the line width you might notice uh, see the line widths didn't i'm still working on line widths here i'm going to get this to where it, it adjusts all the line widths properly all the other see how all the other line widths are adjusted properly and now that thick line and the cleavage is now adjusted and the arms aren't adjusted oh i know why i know why i gotta go through and adjust that um that should also magically magically be adjusted as well but i'll get that fixed up uh working on it work in progress uh, the model rig script i'm having to convert uh because it was not converted for 11 it only works in 9.5 but it now except for the line widths it works everywhere so i'll i'll get the line widths working on that so uh how's my script rig or, or how does auto rig work well basically uh my rig is as you can see the bones i have uh, some some spline bones in my, in my auto rig script if I if I go back here for a moment I can make it have two splines for the for the character but in this particular case I, I my default is three so you can I can adjust that if I want uh, I like to have three up here I have a root bone here so the root um, if I go back to the Swiss Army bones I can move the root around and it moves everything and I and I won't talk about that because again Swiss Army bones talks about how the root is set up, but uh, I just want to talk about it in general. So that's the parent bone for all the other bones. The targets are down here for the feet. I highly, I highly recommend you use foot targets as it makes uh, walking in place and doing all kinds of walks and, and actions fantastic. Um, and that's explained in my videos on Swiss Army bones. So I won't go into that, but also I have foot targets there. I have uh, the two bones, one bone to control the upper part of the leg, one bone to control the lower, and the same for the arm. Bone for the upper part of the arm, bone for the lower. You notice my auto rig script automatically put the hands in and the feet in. I have files that set all those. So again, <laughs> because I'm the laziest animal, and I'm and I have no talent at all. So the the uh, I have files that control the hands so that you can go through and, and switch to various hands. Um, so that's that's just. Uh, uh, my script that does the hands automatically and I use hands for switch layers so people say how to do the hands I I'm a big believer in doing that to me it, to me it works uh, to use hands for switch layers you notice the hand switched and you got and it, it happens so fast you don't really notice that that it switches some people like to make individual fingers on the bones ah, to me that's just so much work I don't I don't know that I would do that but um, to each his own so I use I use hand switch layers I use uh, what else and and I have I have actually have foot switch layers as well but I I generally bake the feet in so I pick the particular foot I want and and bake it in but right now the uh, the foot is a switch layer that automatically comes in as well so if I, I can change feet if I go down and change the foot to a to a, like a pump here um, so you know whatever um, 
anyway, so that's my rig. So I think that explains uh, essentially how how the rig works. Uh, hopefully uh, that explains all. The oh, and I have constraints. Once again, my bone, uh, my auto rig script puts the constraints in automatically for the bone, so they they uh, they don't move too far to too much um, but you know that's that's the basic idea um hopefully that explains how my characters are rigged if there's any other specific questions please ask them on this thread uh i will talk in more detail about auto rig and what it does but i'm, I'm just a basic lazy person so for me auto rigging it works for me uh, and there's my character script so hopefully this helps talk to you later